Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to study about the high speed design tricks. Okay, so we will study about the high speed design basics, right? So let us understand. So, so the first question arises here, is it high speed design? so how will you identify whether your design is high speed or low speed design so this is the most common question which you may ask yourself whether is it high speed design or not so this is very common question uh, right so there is a two method to find out to find out if our design falls under high speed design or if our design falls under low speed design right so so the first method we follow is so we know the maximum frequency content of your circuit so if if the maximum frequency content is given by fm so this parameter you may know uh, in your circuit the second thing is fastest rise or fall time that is given by tr so you also know the fastest rise time of your digital circuit right and the maximum data transfer rate that is called dtr data transfer rate so if you know the maximum data transfer rate if either of these three if you know any one parameter you can find other parameter how so there is a formula the maximum content of frequency fm is given by fm equals to 0.5 divide by tr that means 0.5 divide by that ties time so you will get 2.5 uh, uh, this is the other formula which shows the relationship between maximum content of frequency fm and the rise time if you know the frequency you can find the rise time either if you know the rise time you can find the frequency okay and other relation is fm is equal to 2.5 time of dtr that means if you know the dtr you can find the maximum frequency right so let us understand this by using some example here okay so this is the first example right so if if let's say the rise time of your digital signal is 100 picosecond this is 100 picosecond then you can find the maximum frequency can is given by 0.5 you can use this this formula 0.5 divided by 100 picosecond right so if you calculate 0.5 divided by 100 picosecond you will get this value this is 5 gigahertz and let us take a second example if if you have got maximum data rate dtr equals to 5 gb ps gigabit per sample right gbps stand for gigabit per sample then you can find the the maximum frequency which is given by 2.5 times of dtr that means 2.5 times of 5 gbps you will get right 12.5 gigahertz okay so now the the you now you can understand how will you solve uh, how will you find the maximum content of frequency if if rise time of your digital circuit is given or if your data rate of your digital circuit is given so this is basically a universal formula which you may, may need to follow to find the, find out the maximum content of frequency right so what is the thumb rule here so thumb rule says that thumb rule says that if the maximum frequency is greater than 50 megahertz 
okay so it should be treated as a high speed design okay if if the maximum frequency you can find the maximum frequency by using this formula and once you get the maximum frequency you can assume that if the maximum frequency is greater than 50 megahertz it should be treated as a high speed design okay but this is this is not true for every cases let's say if in some cases if your frequency is 60 megahertz it should fall under uh, it, it can fall under low speed design and let's say in some cases if your frequency is 40 megahertz it can fall under high speed design so if you are not clear with this approach approach number first we may opt for the approach, approach number approach number second still we are trying to find is it high speed design or not so our question is still alive we we are trying to find is it high speed design or not so this was the first approach now let us discuss the second approach right so let us discuss second approach here so in the second approach let's say the wavelength for maximum frequency fm you can find the wavelength for maximum fre maximum frequency so the formula is lambda m equals to lambda m is wavelength is equals to v divided by your maximum frequency okay since you know the maximum frequency you know the the speed of signal on the PCB are speed of so you can find the wavelength so here V equals to speed of the signal on the PCB which could be 11.8 inch per nanosecond you can find this by using the formula of speed of light right so let's say ER is effective dielectric constant of the PCB material TPD is TPD is propagation delay which is given by 1 divided by your velocity V okay speed of the signal so so now you have one universal formula you have to find the wavelength so wavelength is given by V divided by Fm right so so we were here now now let us understand some some uh, some parameter here so you can see this is material number this is dry electric constant for strip line dielectric constant for micro strip line okay velocity for strip line velocity for micro strip line propagation delay for strip line and propagation delay for micro strip line so let's say for the vacuum your dielectric constant is 1 for strip line micro strip line 1 the the velocity is this for strip and micro strip and the propagation delay is this so let us say you have different pcb material let us say you are using fr4 fr4 370hr this is most commonly used material in high speed design so so the thumb rule says that for high speed consideration if l is less than lambda m divided by 12 this is not a high speed design so if you want to know what is l l, l is interconnect interconnect length okay so if l is less than wavelength by 12 this is not a high speed design if l is less than wavelength maximum wavelength by 12 this is this is considered as a high speed design okay what is l l is a length of pcb interconnection now let us understand uh, by using one example here let us say your pcb material is fr4 that is fr4 370r so we have seen in the last slide for fr4 370r here you can see you can see here the the strip line velocity and micro strip line velocity okay so let us consider one case here so in the in the 
micro strip line v equals to 6.9 inch per nanosecond for strip line v equals to 5.9 inch per nanosecond let us say your frequency is 50 megahertz so now you can find the wavelength which is given by v divided by frequency and if you consider for the strip line 5.9 inch per nanosecond divided by 50 megahertz you will get 118 inch 118 inch so if you calculate lambda m by 12 you will get 9.8 inch so if your interconnection length is less than this 9.8 inch it can be considered as a low speed design and if your interconnection length is greater than 9.8 inch it can be considered as a high speed design okay so hope you understand the first basics of high speed design if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video